Look, unfortunately, I decided to read chapter 503 by myself. And I regretted it immediately after reading it, just because it has three... It, there are three panels in this chapter that are now all-time favorite panels for me in the entire series. Not one, not two, but fucking three out of one chapter. If y'all can guess, whether you're in chat right now or you're watching the video on YouTube, pause this shit. If you can guess what the three panels are, I mean, if you're in chat and you can guess what the three panels are, I'll gift you a sub right now. You have to be the first one to guess it, though. If you're if you're on YouTube, you're just participating for fun, man. But I'll see the comments, so it is what it is. I, I can't really tell if you cheated or not over there, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But, you know, I have to leave to catch up as well. All right, my boy, I'll catch you later. Gonna head out? Hey, you, you making some progress, my dude. You almost caught up. You almost caught up. I think Yama panels? Papa Baylord. That's the other reason that I heavily regret not reading this chapter live bro and not actually reacting to it last week the one time that i miss a tog chapter y'all know i've been begging to see papa baylord this whole fucking time and the one time that i don't actually react to the chapter is the time that this man shows up on my screen it's rough it's rough but we here man i Starting this week, we're getting back to the Sunday night grind for TOG, right? We're no longer doing Mondays, so I won't have this issue anymore. I won't have this issue anymore. There are two very clean ones, Papa Baylor. All right, but as hype as I was to see Papa Baylor and actually see what his design was, that is not one. None of those are my favorite panels. The Yas Raja fit, no. That, that, I don't, I'm not a fan of that Yas Raja fit, honestly. I'm, I'm not even a fan. I am not even a fan. All right, I'll show you the panels first. I don't really need to talk about the, the chapter as a whole. My thoughts on the chapter is a great chapter. The setup is crazy. I don't know, knowing CU, we're probably still gonna have this white versus bam shit put off even longer, even though the chapter ended like that. Um, but I also think that the white versus bam fight has to happen concurrently um, or before the Yama versus Yasracho rematch. It's either got to happen before or it's going to have to happen side by side. But there's no way we get Yama versus Yashracha again before we see White and Bam at least commence. You know what I'm saying? The Rock Capitalism panel. Finally, one of y'all got one. One of y'all got one. Yeah, that's one. That's one. That's the only one y'all got so far. But I asked you to, to, get, to name all three. Y'all got to name all three, dude. Um... Rina said, Rina said Yama panels. I will say, I will say that that's right. It was a Yama, the other, one of the other ones was a Yama panel, but you didn't really specify which one. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Anyway, let's go. Let, let me show you the fit. Yeah, nobody really got it, so I'm gonna just show y'all, dude. I'm gonna just show y'all. Also, shout out to. I don't know how you see. It's like it's like y'all. You cannot be. You got you got to think about what I like. Right? Y'all know me. Y'all know who my favorite characters are. So, the, the answer... Any panel with my favorite character in the series gotta be the panel, right? You know? <laughs> but nobody guessed that one. Nobody guessed that one. You gotta love it when a... You gotta love it when a plan comes together, though. You know? You gotta love it when a plan comes together. This whole shit was... This whole shit, like... For a second, I was shook, too. And I was like, eh, nah. There's no way. There's no way Kun is losing with with whatever strategy he came up with. There's absolutely no way. Alright? This is this is this honorable mention to this one because my boy flexing, but no, that's not the one, dude. Plus it's just a throwback. This is one of my favorite panels in Tower of God. This shit right here. Alright? I'ma use this all the time. And y'all can read, right? So if you have not hit the like button and or subscribe right now, I'ma need y'all to do that because Kun said so. All right, Kuhn said so, therefore y'all need to do it. All right, bet, cool, we, we good, we good? Top tier panel, top tier fucking panel. And <laughs> honestly, Hockney, like, like Chibi Hockney in this panel is so good too. So fucking good too. All right, second best panel, well, not second best, they're all, they're all of the same caliber, but like, 
The other one I love is this one. You already know. This is this is one of my favorite panels in ages, dude. And it might be one of my favorite rock panels of all time. Aside from like that one paracule panel and um the the panel during the hidden four. But that shit is god tier. And then I can't believe this this okay so I'm a, I'm gonna share my thoughts about this real quick because I I think it's necessary right my my gut and ba like I I was so pissed off when the rest of this dialogue was was inaudible to Yama man because I was like fuck like you give me but they gave look see you gave us a teaser we're gonna get more we're gonna get more right but this interaction you see. The fucking canine people storming the Bastille, all heavily armed, right? And then you see that that Yasuracha straight up is like, yo, the canines under Lopabia's control are coming here, right? I don't know what the context for this scenario is. We can come up with a few theories. I'm not going to spend time on that right now. But my what I want to focus on with this interaction is the rapport between Yasuracha and Papa Baylord, right? So... He's like, it's not too late to change your mind, puppy. Let's work together. You're the only one who can turn them around, right? They're under Lopabia's control. I'm not really sure what Yasracha's position here is, but one thing that's clear is an underlying bond to a certain extent between Yasracha and Papa Baylord. Or the reverence that I've been... The way that he spoke about this man this entire time... You can see that he respect like like look at him pleading with him. We don't know what he's fucking saying, but he's begging him right here. And Papa Baylor, uh, by the way, Papa Baylor's design is fucking clean. All right, you caught a glimpse of it. It's fucking sexy. I love the shit. However, we see him pleading with him. He clearly respects him to a certain degree, right? And I, I'm very curious to see what went down there, right? How do you feel about the brothers theory? Um, I haven't heard the brothers theory. I haven't heard the brothers three. I saw, I I saw, um, fucking, uh, I saw that that was uh, Doctor Bonehead posted a video like that. And I quickly scrolled past it because I I wasn't I hadn't read the chapter at the time, so I wasn't trying to uh, to see anything about that. You know what I'm saying? But um, I, I don't know. I have to watch the video after the fact. I haven't heard the theory in and of itself, but like it's straight up to you. The theories that they're brothers, like that's the long and short of it. I mean, I could, I could see it. I don't know if it has to go to that extent though. Um, but I could see it though. I, I, I could see it. I, at the end of the day, the bond is the bond, right? Whether it's a brotherly bond or it's a friendship that that you know went sour or something like that, is irrelevant to me. It's just clear that Yasracha had reverence for for papa baylord that's the most important part right now to me to me right yama's mother might be asracha's mother as well uh the mother was feline from the from looks where do we see that shit where the fuck do we see that shit what are you talking about anyway i i don't i don't recall seeing that shit a few chapters ago i gotta go back Point me to that shit later, man. But anyway, then the last panel that's absolutely goaded. After my king looking look at looking more powerful than ever. Right? Let's off this beastly slash, dude. I love how Doom after this is like, yo, I could I could do that shit too. Like shut the fuck up, Doom. <laughs> shut the fuck up. No, you can't. No, you can't. Sit down. <laughs> Sit down. This this panel right here, dude. Legendary. The Yama head tilt? Are you fucking serious? <sighs> fucking legendary, man. And Yasracha is not pleased, bro. Look at look at his face, said. This is the first I think this is the first time that like nine times a day we've seen we've seen pissed off. Yasracha, right? Or like, not really pissed off, but just like, I'm taking shit seriously because I don't want to deal with your bullshit. And 95% of the time, Yasracha got a smile on his face. This is the most sour looking Yasracha panel I've ever fucking seen, dude. This man is not okay 
with the developments. He's kind of like he kind of looking like like that. There, there should be like a sweat bead or something, dude. He's looking a little shit, dude. I'm 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 putting everything I have on Yama in this rematch, dude. Everything I own is going on Yama in this rematch. He might the third round is the fucking third round is it, dude? It's on some you no. Know, if you're not caught up to One Piece, I'm so sorry you getting spoiled. But like, this is mirroring Luffy and Kaido to me. All right, round one L, whatever. Round two L, I bet we're taking that third round though. We are taking the third round, and then we got the setup for Bam and White. Like this has been the most apprehensive fucking. Like this shit just makes me nervous every fucking chapter, but. Uh, did we read the new chapter? No, we're, we're just about to get to it, my dude. We're about to start. I just wanted to briefly talk about uh, last chapter because I didn't get a chance to react to it. But we, as you can see, we about to get into this, into 504. And I don't know, I, I, this is the first time where I'm like, damn, man. Because now I know we're getting Kalachad in the chapter because his face is plastered all over the little thumbnail, bro. But I'm okay with that. See, I wasn't expecting to get White versus Bam anyway. I'm not expecting to see anything more of the Yama situation. Or um, there's no need to go back to Kuhn's party. We could see more Cha and, and, and Isu in them. But again, I don't think we need to do that right now. One thing I think we could get is Karaka. Right? Karaka and Doan versus this full fusil. And we, we need to finish that up. I'd rather them get that out of the way sooner rather than later i don't think we're getting the evan kell stuff after that revelation for a little while so all we have on the table right now that we haven't seen realistically is caliban man so i'm excited i hope i i hope we get this man i hope we get this um anyway let's dive into this new chapter man the jump of, oh this is the same okay these same panels from last week Man's preparing a dark twist. One turn earlier. Cal, let's go. Let's go. Let me get, let me get that Kalachad greatness, dude. Let me get that Kalachad greatness. Oh, my God. I missed him. How many weeks has it been that we haven't seen this, man? That, I say we. It's been months, bro. Actually, technically speaking, if we really want to talk about not seeing him, it was, pro, it, it was pre-hiatus. You know what I'm saying? Although we did catch a glimpse of him first chapter back, but... Imagine a full transformation battle between Yama and Yasuracha. That's what's coming, bro. That is 100% what's coming. Um, in the front of the finish line. What's this? It's a jump pad. A jump pad. How do you use it? The requirement to jump is simple, Caliban. One more helper should come to your field. If one more of your teammates comes to the field, you'll be able to jump and reach the finish line. I see. Bro, he's such a god. I, I miss Caliban, bro. I missed him so much. It's not a very easy requirement for me to meet right now. I have underestimated this. Translation, I just want to steamroll this shit on my own. I gotta rely on other people. God damn it. With all due respect, but if you just reach the finish line, you can go straight to where Lybrick is. They're really... They're really... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's so fucked up. Although fighting him when you get there is a violation of military law, of course. Fuck all that. Nobody gives a fuck about that. What are you talking about? Don't be concerned. I'm not after treason. Just his neck. I mean... I mean... Caliban, what, what are you talking about, my G? Like... <laughs> that... I mean... There is a discrepancy there, like, there is a deviation there. You're right, like, killing Lybrick is not the same as rebelling against Jihad, but it is still an act of insurrection and treason because the man is in a position of power that you no longer have. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know, bro, but, like, it's fine. We, we, we do need to kill his ass. We do need to kill his ass. And the teammate I could expect... Yeah, what the fuck? I guess only his division commander, Chon Hee Ha who's headed for the cat tower. We haven't seen any of her either. I'll just have to look forward to her. She's certainly capable of making her way here. So we'll meet on the other side soon. 
Lybrick. Yo, he's ra- yo, he's gonna decimate this one. I don't care what. I don't give a fuck what Lybrick has up his sleeve, bro. Calavan. It, if 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 it's a fair, the thing about Lybrick is that he's a, he's a slippery bastard, dude. The thing about Lybrick is that he be scheming heavy. You know what I'm saying? I don't trust his ass. I know he's gonna pull some bullshit. So I'm gonna have to be wary about that. But if it if it was gonna be just a straight up one v one, again, all money goes on Kalachad. Look at this man. How disappointing for me on record, Commander Caliban. For someone of that position to betray the army just because he lost a few of his troops and lose sight of the greater cause. Shut the f- this man, he's not serious. He said a few of his... You know what, Library? I'm not... I, I don't even have time to entertain this bullshit. Everything is under our great man's will. So you can't change anything even if you make it here. Is this a translation thing? Like, why did he say... Like, I'm assuming... I mean, I'm assuming he's talking about Jihad. Like, why do he say it like that? Why is he calling Jihad our great man? That's kind of weird, no? Like, I'm not. The, am I the only one that think that thinks that that's weird? I'm, 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 I'm. You do you, Lybrick. I'm not even concerned. I'm kind of mad because this is a dope panel. I'm kind of mad that Lybrick got a dope shot. <laughs> I'm kind of mad, dude. Translation error. See you, meant king. I figured it was a translation thing because uh, I. I see you referred to as our great man, dude. Like it, it the way it came across is almost like Lybrick got a thing for Jihad. You know what I'm saying? Found the panel with Yama's mom for the for the after the chapter. I thought you said. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I gotta go back to what you said. Cause maybe I just read it wrong. Maybe I just read what you said wrong. Okay, you said Yom's mother. Okay, that ma- okay that makes more sense. That makes more sense. I I read I read it wrong. I I thought you were saying that uh, Papa Baylor's mother and Yasracha's mother were the same. Be- but I guess I was conflating the the brother theories with that shit. But um, no, that that I I remember what Yama's mom looks like. All right, that's that's fair enough. That's fair enough. He meant to call Jihad daddy. Yo, stop it. Okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm done with y'all. <laughs> I'm so done with y'all. We moving on. We're just nothing in comparison. Damn. Damn, Lyric, how did Jihad hurt you, man? Portal, the jump will begin. In t- You're not serious. We're actually getting this. Nah, I don't believe it. See, see you gonna cut away again, bro. Oh yeah, it's over. There's nothing more for you to say. There's nothing more for you to say. It's too late to stop him. That's what I'm saying. It's it's a wrap. It's a wrap, my girl. There's nothing left to say. You're not serious. We're actually getting this right now. There's probably gonna be some banter though before the fight actually starts. Yo, the slow rise. Yo, this man got up out of his seat. He was like, yo. Oh, good shit. I've been waiting, bro. I'm going to kill this motherfucker, man. Oh, man. I'm not looking forward to... Like, I think... This is, like, one of the only fights in Tower of God history um, that, like, really is causing me physical apprehension. Like, I'm, I'm very fucking nervous for this fight. Not because I think Bam is going to lose. You know what I'm saying? He might. Actually, as a matter of fact, he he could, but like what I what what I think is that there's no way that Bam dies, right? And that's not White's intention here anyway. His intention is to see him fucking fall into darkness. Right? But Bam got plot armor, so Bam will be okay. I'm actually more Arya just needs to stand back. I'm more worried about Arya than anything else, man. But I just don't know what the outcome of this situation is going to be. And I, I feel like Bam actually being corrupted is, is, is fucked. It's actually fucked, dude. 
it's actually fucked and it'll be so twisted to witness. So I, I don't know. I'm very scared for this fight to commence is my point. That's powerful though. That's powerful though. See you about to go in on this as expected. You were waiting for me. Although it's only been 10 minutes, wasn't it enough time to change? Isn't there anything you'd like to know? Like how your teammates who are with me are doing sh Stop this. Stop it. He doesn't need any more provocation, you bastard. I have no such words to say to a devil. Bro. <sighs> Bro. We're actually starting this shit. Oh my god, we're actually fucking starting this shit. Okay. Immediate thorn activation too. That clash? Better spirits. Wait, is he is he actually utilizing the energy from them? Or is that just is he just reacting to Bam's demeanor? Oh my fuck. Yo! Bro, this is a two page panel! Oh, this a, yo, that's, that's like a three page fucking panel. What the fuck? No, that's a two page panel, dude. That's a two page spread. I want to see that horizontal. I want to see the whole thing. Fuck, hold up. Hold up, bro. Yo, it's, it's three pages. I can't even I can't even zoom out enough to get the whole thing on my fucking screen. That's raw. That's fucking raw, dude. Holy shit. Clean. Oh, he's going in it. Got Thresha and Blue Demon activation. He's not even... He's... Our bad relationship. Yo, I don't know about the translation this chapter, bruh. I don't know about the translation this chapter. That's, that's weak. Our bad relationship. I need to put... I want a poster of that shit, too. Oh, my God. The art is so clear right now. How satisfactory. The fiery look towards me. Dude, white is fully erect right now, dude. White is fully erect right now. It's about to explode. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah the man. Mm -hmm. uh, say no more, white. That hatred. Oh my, what the f oh. I'm still, I'm still, I'm still so shit. Like, this panel is god tier. Okay. Is that lightning power? It, is it that lightning power again? This hurts even me. He stopped my sword. Wait, ha, ha, ha. Let, 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 let's, let's, let's sit on that for a second, shall we? Let's sit on that. This, this might be something that you easily gloss by. But this shit is fucking important, dude. RDA swordsmanship is literally supposed to be unstoppable, my G. I mean, granted, Yorao also caught his shit the other day. And when Yorao did that shit... White diced him into like 8 million pieces because he was pissed the fuck off. Bam parried this blow. What the fuck? A kick? Yo, he barely reacted to that. Look at the color work on this shit, dude. 
Hey yo, I'm telling you, dude. Like, I remember how we always used to talk about these TOG fighting games, like potential TOG fighting games, right? And I would always talk about characters that I'm gonna main and shit. All those characters that I said remain true. Yeah, you know I'm saying I'm definitely playing some Yama. I'm definitely playing some Evan Kell. I'm definitely playing some Yuri. Definitely playing Ooh. But I feel like Bam is gonna be broken. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you just gotta play. I feel like at the end of the day, Bam is gonna be so top tier that you gotta, you, you have to play it. You have to play it. Oh shit! That reaction too it was a nice maneuver, but you can't imagine. You can't. You can't. This man. This man is not gonna take any of the shit lying down, dude. Turn based TOG game? Like no, nah, no. Nah, we're talking about fighting games, man. I don't. I. If any TOG game exists, I want a fighting game. I don't need an RPG. I'm not a fan of RPGs adapted from other series, right? If it's not an original RPG, I'm not really a fan of it. Um, I want a fighting game. Stormlight, yes. Cyber Connect. It, 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 if, it's, if it's not 2D, which I'm not expecting it to be, you know what I'm saying? If it is 2D, Arxis got to do it, right? If it's not 2D... Cyber Connect 2 gotta do it. It's, it's the only way. Don't, uh, Dave, we don't mention Hero Kantari here. That game stole too much money from me in the shortest amount of time possible. I only played I only played Hero Kantari for three days, and the amount of money that I spent on that shit is absurd. I don't even like thinking about it anymore. I had to uninstall that shit. You haven't forgotten that my royal sword can strike from any angle, have you? Took multiple blows here, but he's still he, he's alright. We just getting started. You're the one who should remember. Yo, look at his eye, dude. Oh, that's so sick. That mine does too. He hid him with the. He set the. Or, he definitely set the orb up beforehand. From the, the whole the whole initial charge of bam, bam going in. Dude, he set the orb up from beforehand. Baited it. Piss it. I, I don't think if he he had to have have um, stopped the sword slash in order to fixate White's attention. If he hadn't have accomplished that, White may have noticed. Since when did it come? No, no. It was just getting spicy, man. What the fuck? Oh my god, it was just getting heat. You gonna end the chapter like that? Fuck. Fuck, bro. I was just getting into that. I was just getting into that. You really just got me. Oh my god, that's. They, they see you blue balled me, bro. They see you blue balled me, dude. Like, what the fuck? It was a great chapter. It was. A, it was this chapter went by fast, I guess because. The, the second half was just white versus bam, and it was mostly action, right? But, like, I liked seeing Calavan. And then it just... It, yeah, I like seeing Calavan, and then the shit just pops off. We're definitely cutting away next week, too, right? We're definitely cutting away next week, too, right? God damn it. See, I love you, but this shit is so painful. Ah... <sighs> fire am i late and by the way why the previous chapter is not uploaded on youtube uh it's not uploaded on youtube because i did not react to it so that's 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 the reason why uh i did share my thoughts on it at the very beginning of this video and this video will go up um either later tonight or tomorrow morning but uh um, yeah I did, I, unfortunately i did not get a chance to react to last week or to the chapter before this uh, I'm pretty sure there's a panel that hits at the orb going behind him. Let, let's go back through and look. We got time. We got a little bit of time because that fight went by kind of quick. Let's see if we can spot that. No, this is after. See, I know for a fact... That, the, that Bam placed the orb behind him before this clash. Before this happened, the orb was already behind him.
He, t- he This is probably when he did it. That's probably when he did it. That's, I'm still so blown away by the just the sheer fucking length of that panel. It's insane. Yeah, I think that I think that's when. I think that's when he set it up. I think that after this clash, White was fully focused on Bam, right? After that clash. Then he calls out to him, talking about our bad relationship will end once and for all, right? Still don't really like that translation, but whatever. And during that moment, White got a little erect. You know what I'm saying? He was, he was, he was just a little bit too caught up in the fervor of the moment. You know, he was feeling it, right? He was, he was getting off on his hatred. Then we see this clash... And he's like, it's that lightning power again. And he hit, um, and Bam launches off this floor. This is when he put the orb behind him, for sure. This is when he put the orb behind him. And then he would, and then Bam made sure to do something that would not make him take his eyes off him, which is parrying the fucking sword strike. Because you know damn well why ain't standing for that. The whole exchange was godly, dude. You gotta think about this. Crazy about this shit too is like literally it's half the chapter of one exchange. It's one exchange. The whole thing is one exchange. The fight literally just started. Half of a chapter and it's literally the first five seconds of the fight. Shit O oh, D. And then you end the chapter like this, man. I, 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 I can't. I can't, man. I can't. I can't. I would love a game. Oh, okay. You know what? That's a good-ass idea. I said I only want a TOG fighting game, but a TOG MMO would also be kind of heat. You know? That would also be kind of heat. Speaking of which, you know what I'm saying? If you're trying to get into some sort of TOG RPG, well, I got you. You know what I'm saying? We ended a little early, so it's only right that we talk about Towers and Gods, which is starting this Thursday at 7 p.m. EST on Dr. Bonehead's channel, we are playing a D&D style role playing game. All right? I'm participating. It's going to be lit. If you haven't heard about it, please go to my boy's channel. The trailer is up. He just dropped a trailer for all of our characters today. They all look sick. It's going to be fire. I'm tell if you, if you're a fan of D&D or you're a fan of Tower of God, you're not trying to don't don't miss the shit. Do not miss the shit because I'm going to be talking about it all the time. And everybody that's there on a regular basis, I'm going to be talking about it with y'all. So if you're you're going to be you're going to be left out, all right? You're going to be out of the loop if you be coming here for the weekly reactions and you're not also watching Towers of Gods. All right? Uh haven't watched the trailer yet. Yo, Marv, what's good, man? This uh, I'm up I'm going to link the trailer right now. And actually the link if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, the link will be in the description or the comments or something like that too. Um, but I'm gonna link both. I'm gonna link the original trailer and I'm gonna link the, the character trailers because both are, are, are kind of fire. You know what I'm saying? Both are kind of fire. So here's the link to the original announcement. All right. Y'all go peep that. I would watch it with you guys right now, but I already watched it uh, on stream yesterday. So, you know, we're not actually gonna do that right now. And y'all can peep in this in this new character trailer. Y'all can see my character, bro. Y'all can see my character. You feel me? So, if you're wondering, if you only saw the first one, and you're wondering about it, there you go. All right, there you go. Actually, all right. We watched we watched the first one yesterday, right? But we'll we'll watch we'll watch the character preview trailer together. All right. How about that? How about that? We'll watch that real quick. We'll watch that real quick before we head out. All right? Let me load this up. Let me load this up. Hey, yo, Joe, don't don't copyright strike me, my guy. All right? Don't copyright strike me. I'm just trying, I'm trying to promote the thing. You feel me? I'm trying to promote the thing. Um, did you notice the mistake with Calavan's arm in the newest chapter? No, nah, what? I got to go back. What happened? What happened? In subtitle, he draws Calavan's right arm as the one that's missing, the correct one, but in several, he draws the left arm as the one that's missing, the incorrect one. He also did the same mistake with the first chapter back from the hiatus. I'm hoping that it gets straightened out. 
Ah, I didn't notice that. But there's also been discrepancies. Look, y'all know I've been talking about the discrepancies with Yama, right? Yama's Yama's pants, Yama's pants and shoes, okay, have went from battle damaged to fully fully healed to then partial transformation state damage to fully healed. There's been discrepancies like that too. So I mean, but let's not get see you see you, man see you got a lot going on. And I'm not going to get hung up on discrepancies like that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's little. It's small. It's just like, for me, the issue I have is not with CU. It's with editors. Like, it's like people be editing this shit, right? Like, nobody in the process of getting to this point notices things like that, you know? That's that's what editors are supposed to be for. It, but Anyway, let's watch this trailer real quick before we get <gasps> Every single character design is fire. Mm -hmm. Dude, those that that weapon is so fucking sick to me. That weapon is so fucking sick to me. There go your boy right there. There go your boy right there, man. There go your boy right there. All right, you already know that. You already knew if I was gonna make an OC, that it was gonna look something like this. You know what I'm saying? You already knew it was gonna look something like this, but yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, sir. You know, you you know damn well I got the gourd with the bong bong juice. You feel me? You already know. You already know. And then we got Milios's Milios's characters. I think Milios's character and other Joe's character are like the two that I was like most like damn. That's that's like cre like unique as shit, right? And then, the, yo, I'm, I'm trying to figure out who this dude is. I am trying to figure out who this motherfucker is, dude. Looks like a coon. Yeah, he does look like a coon. We'll see, dude. I'm sure he's from the coon family for sure. We'll see, though. We will see, though. Anyway. That's it, man. Let me know your thoughts. I hope to see you guys on Thursday for the first episode of Towers and Gods, if you're going to come through. Let me know your thoughts on this chapter. I honestly hope that next week, on Sunday, we get a continuation of the fight. But knowing C, we're probably going to cut to something else. So we'll see how it goes, man. But anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.